McLaren's house, the primary home of Prince Charles and Camilla, is an architectural treasure within walking distance of Buckingham Palace in London. The impressive four-story building was designed between 1825 and 1827, and before Charles and Camilla came to live at the estate, it was the home of the late Queen Mother for nearly 50 years. Although the royal family's official site says the building underwent extensive refurbishment and redecoration to become a home for Charles, much remained the same as it had in the early to mid-1900s. Even the Queen's furniture and art remain in the rooms they were originally placed. If you can't make it to London and experience an annual August tour, here's a quick look at some of the highlights of the gorgeous home of the Duke and Duchess of Cornwall. An aristocratic townhouse Clarence House is one of only a few so-called aristocratic townhouses left remaining in London. It also looks very much the same as it did many, many years ago. It's an official residence for royalty, but Clarence House is meant for more than just relaxing. Every year, Charles and Camilla host meetings, receptions, charity events, and support other causes from within their residence. Even the Dalai Lama has been a guest at the Duke and Duchess's home. The Morning Room Charles and Camilla's home has become a popular spot for official christening photos. After Prince William and Kate Middleton's first son George was christened in 2013, the family took to the morning room of Clarence House to document the event. When the couple's third child and second son, Prince Louis, was christened, the family gathered once again for an official portrait in the morning room. What makes this room so special? For one thing, it's nostalgic. The Duke and Duchess of Cornwall have christening photographs of four generations displayed in this cosy space. A Chippendale sofa and chair set circa 1773 adds an understated royal flair to this room as well. Not to mention the spectacular Robin's egg blue textiles throughout against the backdrop of muted white walls. It's no wonder the morning room is a popular spot to take and display photographs as well as host company. The Royal Dining Room In more than 100 years, the Royal Dining Room has remained relatively unchanged. Although some of the artwork has been swapped out and a larger dining table has been added, the Royal Dining Room is still an ode to the past. A large centerpiece, along with a coordinating table service, was gifted to King George VI and Queen Elizabeth from the city of Paris when the couple visited France in 1938. This centerpiece is still in use today. The Garden Room Once upon a time, the garden room in the Clarence House was actually two rooms. According to the Royal Collection Trust, this was the case when Princess Margaret resided at the home prior to getting married. These days, however, the garden room is one expansive and gorgeous space. The room is often used as a place in which to receive visitors. As such, the garden room contains ornate sofas, a set of 12 armchairs, various gold embellishments, a large Persian wool rug, and a variety of framed oil paintings. The Library Books are not the central focus of the Clarence House Library. The Royal Collection Trust notes that the late Queen Mother would use the room for intimate dinners when she lived at Clarence House. Following a similar pattern, the Duke and Duchess of Cornwall host events, including meals in the library. Camilla frequently invites children to decorate the Clarence House Christmas tree located in the library. While a sizable collection of books are on display, this space is more open and therefore a bit less cosy than your typical in-home library. Of course, that means it makes another great space for entertaining, which is really a lot of what Clarence House is all about. The Gardens As amazing as the Clarence House is, the gardens of the home are equally impressive. Just as the late Queen Mother used to enjoy hosting luncheons in these same gardens, Prince Charles too delights in scheduling outdoor meetings, events and parties. During the Dalai Lama's visit in 2008, he added a magnolia tree beside some of the older resident trees. The Prince of Wales and the Duchess of Cornwall now also have a vegetable garden, complete with a composting system. The royal couple's green space is certainly a sight to behold.